he just dry hopped the um is that sure? right. good uh whatever it is digital ipa oh and last few days i've been trying some of these different beers like some of them from uh morrison's which are bloody good actually really have to hand it to them good good range good choice morrison's and then um more recently the little ones which are kind of like half the price but also half the quality but they're not bad they're they're all right in fact there's some sessionable ones which i think are okay but you know what tonight i'm back on back on me uh, oh by the way this is me decorating the front of the keyser because it looks a bit shitty so i thought i'd stick some smod um labels on there uh so anyway tonight i'm going back to the juicy lucy because it's it's my own little 4.7 which is mainly citra but there's also it was um oh crikey what's the yeast it doesn't matter anyway uh so that's what i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna have a bit of that in a minute and then i'm gonna talk you through where i'm at where i am at with the kettle or what you want to call it boiler or even copper you can call it copper if you want if you want to be all brewy like you know proper brewy but i can't pour this with one hand so i'm gonna pause <laughs> i'm gonna pause while I pour, pause, oh God. Now that is what I call a fucking beautiful brew. And it's the one that's been in the keys of the longest, actually. Um, why? Well, I was saving it because I wanted, it's called Juicy Lucy. And I've been saving it for uh, my dearest mate Lucy and Lou her partner um, because I was really proud of proud of it and I'm still proud of it but I think it's getting to the stage where we're not going to be seeing any well we're not going to be having any visitors we're not going to have Simon and Dawn and Harry coming up for um, the uh, half term and we're on lockdown so there's no mixed households there's no um no ability to socialize in any way whatso fucking ever so fuck it and drink it because it is bleeding lovely oh god it is so lovely far better than anything that um, I've bought recently from Morrison's or Asda or wherever I mean, let me tell you what's going on here now I don't know I might put the other bit of video in front of this bit of video in which case it might make more sense but to the day I decided to give me kettle or me copper or whatever you want to call it a good clean out because there was um, there was some build up more like calcification on the elements so I gave it a good nuking and I wanted to give it a good clean anyway because it was that time of that time of the month where I like to I like to pretend and as those who know me will know my two main preoccupations OCD are around sanitation and safety so I cleaned this out and as I was flushing it I noticed that all around on the little base thing that I've made you can see here it was all wet and damaging the varnish that I put on top now I use I use caustic soda sodium hydroxide and also phosphoric acid not at the same time I'm not completely insane well yeah what do you think 
she I say than anything are you um, but then I noticed that it was all pissing out where the elements go through the back there so um, whoops, hang on. can that see there um, now obviously electric water not good and it turned out that these nuts were loose ish so I don't know whether that was just a natural thing that has happened or whether those seals down there had uh, just kind of degraded to the extent whereby it was leaking anyway I've tightened it all up and I think those seals probably need replacing they're kind of like rubber seals and then obviously safety checked it did did, did all me me stuff with me electrical electricery test meters actually this is getting in the way keep bumping into it right so put it all back together and it seems all fine now but I have got spare elements in actual fact I had to take the nut off this so that I could screw or I could fix this to the kettle and then those boxes are on top of that nut and then another nut that I took off here on there so yeah you know what I mean you might not know what I mean because I'm probably not making a huge amount of sense now the question is now I mean I had these as spares I think they're going to be perfectly fine for spares do I get more spares just in case I don't know because at some point I'm going to be upcycling upcycling upgrading because I want to be start I'm going to get 100 litre I want to be doing sort of like around 85 litre brews which will give me four corny kegs by the time it's finished so this will be upgrading um, I'm waiting for the SS Brewtech 20 gallon US 20 gallon um, mash tons to come back into into um, you know sale on sale come back into the country be available that's what I mean Sunday um, and probably get a bigger HLT as well I'm still gonna keep this set up this kit along with that HLT that I've got down uh, mash tun that I've got down here just for smaller kind of like pilot brews but for the for the the, the stuff that we're gonna be doing quite a lot of I want to have four corny kegs worth now the control panel it's got a 32 in which is fine and then it's got um, three 16s out one of those 16s goes to the HLT and those two other 16s go to the kettle so with a hundred litre tank I can get two I could probably get two four kilowatt elements in there um, off a 16 so no one off each 16 one four kilowatt off one 16 so I could get eight kilowatt in, I need some more of this this is what I need did I mention this is called Juicy Lucy <sighs> I'm so proud of that anyway now oh god I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to brew that again for next summer so that's kind of like the upgrade we'll be ready for the upgrade uh, this won't be big enough so I'm thinking of getting one of those island type worktops on here which will need to be 800 800 mil no 80 set yeah 800 mil that I'm old-fashioned me I'm an old man I, I I do like I do like the new money but I still like me uh, I still like me inches as does Charlotte and um, got away with that and so 80 centimeters by two meters and then I'm just gonna sit it on top of here with some battening so that it doesn't slide off um, 
so I can still use this for this kit and then put the bigger thing on for the bigger wassets. Right, now then. What else? At some point, I want all of these fermentation fridges. There's two here and two upstairs. I'm gonna line them all over there somewhere because we need to start making some space in here because this COVID shit isn't gonna last forever. And when it's over, we are gonna party like it's 1999 in here. So, this keys has got eight cornies in, eight taps. I want another one of these keyses. So we're gonna have 16 taps in all. This is when we start the, the next phase of the boathouse um, project. Uh, do you know? Hang on. Shout out to Stu um, for various reasons, but Stu's been very helpful recently. And actually, well, no, I can't. I'll do another video. <laughs> I'll do another video about why Stu's been helpful. Um, yeah, so all this needs rearranging. Um, the um, old school woodwork bench does go over to become a sort of thing for uh, put beer and food on um, everything else is on wheels in here uh, and we've got full stage lighting and a six kilowatt sound system so the boathouse will be back in party mode as soon as COVID allows us to. And that's the focus. Um, that is why I'm determined that this thing is not going to stop us being who we are. Um, and we are going to have some right old parties in it as soon as we can. And that will bring the clans back together. And for a lot of people who've, who watch these silly little videos of mine a very important part of my life is that bit that I share with other people and a part of that is about kind of mutual support mutual friendship and it's about providing a safety net and at the moment I think we all need a little bit of a safety net um, so Whew, quick update happy that the kettle is now usable again I was worried that perhaps it was going to be um, a bit of a write off but no that's good um, going to try and get a brew in during the week not sure what just yet but there will be a video of that and there will be videos I've got I've got most of the um the footage but I just need to do the editing about the 10,000 volt wood burning stuff okay if you're facing half term holiday stay safe this shit will pass and when it does we've got a lot of catching up to do until then boys and girls my little update is updated. This glass, by the way, comes from our friends down at the Dorothy Packs. If you like this rubbish and you haven't already subscribed, please consider it. Thank you and cheers. <laughs>